Hi everyone, it's James from 3 to 1 Generation. This week, Rocking Soul warm ups. Here we go. Try it with both feet. How far on your foot can you roll the ball? You can see I'm trying to get contact with the inside and outside of my boot as well as the sole and trying to roll it as much as possible. Whilst doing that, can I use the rest of my body to give myself stability? So in doing that, your standing leg might eventually fatigue. If it does, great opportunity to change feet and work in your technical balance. Test your balance and ball familiarity when you're ready by flicking your eyes up. So you might be thinking, well this skill is not so complex, I don't think I need this in a game, but this is going to lead into the third skill today, which will require good ankle flexibility and good balance. So this one's the one that gives you the tools. Now we're going to roll the ball and stop it, get a change of tempo. The kind of skill that Juan Roman Riquelme would love. Luis Figo said about Riquelme, he has ability and simplicity. And that's what this skill is all about. Now you might be thinking, this is a one surface skill. Take a closer look now. Can you see how the leather of the boots just touches the ball before the sole does as it rolls across? Something Jorge Valdano said about Riquelme was, you cannot play with Riquelme without playing for Riquelme. It's because he controlled the tempo. This is all about tempo. Get your rhythm and then change the tempo as you stop it and change direction. So can I stop that ball just outside my shoulder on the edge of my internal and external zones of balance? Can I tease the defender? Can I entice the opponent? It might not be towards me, it might be just to move them left or right so that I'm in control. Look at his eyes. That increased perception, what does that give you? Does it give you the chance to make more informed decisions? Where are my teammates? Where's my direct opponent? What are the gaps between the opponents? Can also help improve technical competence. So why do this in a game? Well, it can hypnotise the opposition. They become reactive, you're controlling the tempo, you can find a way through. Think about the effect it has on your teammates. It's going to encourage them to be creative in their movement and in their perception, because they're already thinking of your next step. Those were the roll stops, now we're going to progress to the roll outside snap. Have a look, but maybe more importantly, have a listen. What can you hear? If the skill seems tough, use the different elements of your body to your advantage. Get your lower body facing side on. So let's slow this down and have a look. And you may prefer to start this skill more slowly anyway. So I'm really spotting for the land in here. I'm trying to hold my gaze in that direction, 
can I send the defender that way too? My perception starts high as I check, spring and take off and then it lowers as I approach to land. As a challenge, this is another good one for seeing how many reps you can get within say 45 second limit. You could do that with the previous skill, the roll stops as well. Again, I'm setting the ball just outside my shoulder like Raquel May does. I'm never quite letting it get away. The step with a standing leg there is so important. It means the roll of the ball is fluid. Flex on landing, get that low center of gravity and it can change direction again quickly. So you might have noticed in the clips or you might have heard the acceleration deceleration in the speed of movement and the touch. So with that quickness, we have a change of pace, but we also got a change of movement and importantly, disguise. Three important attributes for any 1v1 skill or any skill to create space for a teammate. If you like the videos, why not share with a friend? See you soon.